Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. The hustle never stops on the new BET reality show uh, that just hit the air. And it's called Hustle in Brooklyn, and it follows the social and professional lives of some of Brooklyn's most sought after and influential millennials. Take a look. Brooklyn is the spot where cash, dreams, and stardom reign supreme. From Jay-Z to Biggie, it's the ultimate spot for young people with vision and the talent to back it up. People like my crew. If you could hustle in Brooklyn, the sky's the limit. This is Brooklyn. Dog eat dog. Only the strongest will make it to the top. All right, now, please welcome Ivy. Aza and Eva, the stars of Hustle in Brooklyn. Yeah, y'all! You guys are bringing it with a fashion today. Yes, yeah, I'm here for it. <laughs> okay, let's just dig on into it, ladies. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of reality shows out. It sure is. So, what makes your show different from the rest, and what is the premise of your show? I mean, I think the thing that makes us different from a lot of other reality shows is that we are in real time. Mm -hmm. There are the situations right there. You see raw emotion, raw everything. You see the process of everything. Um, and I think that, you know, us as millennials, it's a different take on our hustles. We all have different walks of life mm -hmm. from working at a label to being an artist to being a stand-up comedian. And these are, you know, careers that are sought out for, but you know, not a lot of people know what it is to go through that process. So mm -hmm. we invite you into our stories. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. that. So tell me a little bit. I mean, you know, you're in New York and Brooklyn's huge. Uh, there's been some pioneers, of course, to come out of that area. Tell me about the pressure that that puts on you as you are thriving or trying to get to where you, you're wanting to go in your career. I think that's a question that just depends on who you ask. Mm -hmm. It's about perspective. Mm -hmm. um, coming from Brooklyn and like living in Brooklyn, I think that I can say it's so many great people that came from Brooklyn, like Biggie, you yep. have Jay-Z, you have Little Kim, lots of legends. So it just lets us know that it's possible to be done for people that look like me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. We have great examples. It's just like, fly girl, soar. They did it, you could do it, <laughs> yeah. and get it done. Yeah. You know, I want to add something You know, here. You guys are amazing right here, mm -hmm. sitting together. Mm -hmm. It seems like you're very warm towards one another. Do we see some conflict between the three of you on the show, or do you work together to help each other get to the next level? I mean, life, is, it follows our life, so life, you're gonna have conflict. But what we do that other women on other networks and other reality shows don't do, it doesn't overshadow what we have going on. We don't let it distract from the main goal of getting what we need to I get love done. That, which is the Yes, it's not I distracting at all. Yeah. Well, speaking of distractions and main goals, mm -hmm. Eva, you are delving into being a stand-up comedian. Yes, ma'am. So, so what have you learned on your journey, and why stand-up comedy? Ah, uh, man, I, I started stand-up comedy when I was going through a really dark time in my life, mm -hmm. and I found humor to be very um, therapeutic, mm -hmm. and it just helped me deal with life going forward from that moment. And it's a beautiful thing, and I love it. And I thank God for comedy every day. And what I've learned, despite the success of like Tiffany Haddish and Jess Hilarious and some more, there are still there's a huge struggle for Black women in stand-up comedy, mm -hmm. and there's so much more like it, it's really hard for us. Mm -hmm. It really yeah. is. It, it's hard for us to be taken seriously, you know, in this genre of um, entertainment. So if, if I may follow up, yeah. what, where does your content come from? My life. I talk about my childhood. I talk about everyday things that I struggle with. Um, it helps me digest what I go through, mm -hmm. you know? And, and um, yeah, I mean, this every day, I mean, from the train, taking the train, you see some crazy stuff. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dating in New York City, you see some crazy stuff. I bartend when I'm really broke, so yeah, bartending yeah. in Brooklyn, <laughs> you see some crazy stuff. Life itself is, is just gives me unlimited material. Okay. Well, this is a question for all of you. Who's been the most inspirational in your life? God, mm -hmm. God, God, God. Um, I think throughout my journey of life and just the different, you know, challenges that I've faced, I've just learned to kind of look within, mm -hmm. self-love, and just trust my own instincts. Yeah, trust and your then I have great parents, yeah. too. So. Mm -hmm. How about you? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the main source of my inspiration is from my parents, specifically yeah. my mother. Yeah. You know, just watching her, you know, make uh, a trouble to triumph, yes. you know. It's, it's such an inspiring thing to see. It, it leaves me unlimited in, 
you know, the goals that I set for my life. Yeah. Yeah. My biggest inspiration is my mom. She's an amazing oh, woman. She's been through so much and she just keeps a smile on her face. And after my mom, um, I would say Samore and Beyonce. Yeah. Come on, B. So, Ivy, as, as a businesswoman, you've worked with a lot of people. I mean, like Lil' Cam, Waka Flocka. <laughs> And, and the likes. Will we be seeing uh, many other famous faces on the show? Um, I think that, well, one, shout out to all of them. Mm -hmm. um, they are all doing what they have to do, and mm -hmm. they're doing it very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, in this show, it's really focused on our hustle, and you know, although you may see some cameos from some really good friends of mine who just so happen to be like people's favorite, yeah. um, you'll have to tune in and see. Right. All right, right. I mean, as reality show people, we wish you all the best in the world. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We need it. We need it. A little gin and juice every now and again. Tuesdays at 10, 9 central on BET. Coming